Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at possibly the dumbest thing I've seen yet. Now, we all know that Web3 is trying to take over the internet and more importantly, take over the gaming market. Now, nothing to hide here. The gaming market is without a doubt the biggest market that crypto bros could currently infiltrate other than finance, uh, which itself is not going particularly well, let's put it that way. So the next best thing is to infiltrate gaming and it's not going well either because every product that I see announced is just hot garbage. In an article that I found today, GameSwift launches a Web3 gaming platform with revolutionary passwordless sign-on system to help bring gamers into Web3, followed by a screenshot of you having to put your password in to log in. And yes, that is their site. So what the hell is this and what are we actually looking at? Well, fortunately, I'm going to take you through this today and my God, have we got a lot to laugh at. So here we are, we're on the homepage and holy 1995 abandonware school back of the IT room game, what are we looking at? Now, they have a lot of games that are going to launch on this, you know, this launcher, this crypto, crypto gaming meta, <laughs> I hate the word, metaverse of sorts. But what, what actually is it? What are they offering? Well, there's a lot of um, games here, and I have to say, I was ready for some hot garbage, but this has exceeded any expectation that I could have possibly had. Think of your Unity or Unreal demos just smashed into one on a launch. I mean, look at this. Before we even get into what this is, this just looks something like out of Wii Resort. It's like you asked ChatGPT to make a Wii Resort clone. And this, this is what you got. So we're going to take a look through this today and we're going to explore the absolute mess that is GameSwift. But first of all, a quick word from our sponsor. Brilliant. Brilliant is an online learning platform. The best way to learn anything is by doing it yourself. Brilliant has been a sponsor of mine for a year now, and I honestly could not recommend them enough. Learn interactively with Brilliant's interactive hands-on lessons in maths, science, and computer science. Interactive videos help you learn six times more efficiently than sitting in lectures or simply watching a video. These activities are quick, simple, rewarding, but most of all, effective. Two courses I would highly recommend to my audience are Neural Network Basics and Algorithm Fundamentals. Both of these will give you a fantastic head start in the current programming landscape. Join the millions of people using Brilliant today with a special offer just for my viewers. Using the URL brilliant.org slash Callum Upton, the first 200 people will get 20% off an annual subscription. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and join the masses of people that are learning a different way today. Now, with all those uh, advertiser pleasantries out of the way, what are we actually looking at here? So, it is a game launcher or service for crypto games to all be put onto. This is something else. No, I don't want to sign in. Absolutely not. Games is what I want to look at. We're, we're here for the games. So every game on here almost feels like a Kickstarter rug pull scam where they've shown screenshots and there's just nothing to it. Every single game on here, you know, with a few exceptions, is um, coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. I mean, Star Heroes, we can play that. I'm not going to... There's not a chance in hell that I'm downloading this to infest my computer with the weevils that may just come crawling out of Web3. Let's take a look at the screenshots. There's something to be said about Web3 games. And bear in mind, this is the future of our industry that we all love. Or sometimes love which is the gaming industry. This is the future, allegedly. But it looks like something you could play for free on Miniclip about 10 years ago. What are the benefits of this being Web3? I, I hear you ask. Star Heroes is the newest eSport title, except it's it's not. There's no eSport, no eSport ecosphere around this taking its players into a world of immersive space battles where each player competes in order to become a powerful individual in the galaxy. With action-packed gameplay and various places to fight, players are presented with a comprehensive range of possibilities as a galactic pilot. 
As a next step in our wave of free to play and play to earn games, its main goal, apart from delivering an exciting and competitive gameplay, is to enable players to earn cryptocurrency through playing. Which again, nobody who is currently in the gaming industry is looking for this. You, the, they are trying to force these games down our throats and say, you want this, you want this. It, and nobody does. The crypto bros will join the hype train. They'll pump it up. They'll never play the games. Like, I want to make that abundantly clear. The problem with crypto-based games is the crypto bros that are getting invested in it are doing exactly that, getting invested in it, but not the game. They don't give two craps what the game is as long as their funny money goes up through the roof. And unfortunately, the cycle so far has been that their funny money goes through the roof when they invest in a game, whether it comes out or not. The innovative approach of its creators pre presents a new business model of a free to play, of a free to own game. Sorry, what, a free to own game? Okay, so after some research into this, it, believe it or not, this, this new coined term, free to own game, that, you know, they have made the new business model for is, Wait for it. Free to play game. Except they've directly contradicted that by adding cryptocurrency. It is just another pay to play cash shop game, but done with NFTs. So absolutely nothing new. You are uh, you are kind of behind the curve on this one, guys. Uh, step up your game. The idea relies on players not only receiving an interest on their investments in the game. So there you go, directly contradicting what you previously said like in regular play to earn games, but also minting their valuable gaming NFTs for free while... Minting their valuable gaming NFTs for free while holding complete ownership of their of these assets. So if you can mint the NFT for free, why would anyone else buy it off you? I feel like there's some level of thought that goes into this, but that level of thought is, do we want money? Yes. Would. Holy crap, I've just seen the minimum recommended specs of this. Okay, so bear in mind this. This is what we're seeing as a game. Minimum... <laughs> minimum requirements. You know, Ryzen 5 uh, or i5, sure, whatever. 16... 16 gigabytes of RAM. And graphics... 1660 Super slash uh, Radiance 6600. Five gigabytes of disk space. And then the recommended, so bear in mind, that's minimum. Recommended requ <laughs> requires 32 gigs of RAM. What? An i7, a 2060, an RTX 2060. Holy mother of God, what? Are they mining on this as well? They've got to be. There is no way. Right, but I mean, that's one game. Surely the, the others aren't as, aren't as bad, right? Well, uh, let's just, let's just take a look at, what the, what is that? Crixiv, Crixiv, Crixivia. Okay, let's have a look at Crixivia. What are the screenshots? Okay, so again, another game we can play, apparently. I, I will, in a later video, jump into some of these and actually play them and see what the hell's going on with this. But today, we're looking at the launcher and how unappetizing and unappealing all of this is. This literally looks like... Do you remember when VR first came out and, you know, the, the, the game developer Goblins raced to try and get the first VR games out and didn't really care what it was as long as it was a game by some definition and it was the first ones to be listed on a, a VR launcher's site. This is what this looks like. It, it feels like something from Oculus Home. And again, it just requires like a, a gluttony of processing power to do, in fact, the minimum and the recommended are the same. i3 plus, 8 gig plus. Yeah, it's literally the same requirements. Like, none of this is coherent. Synergy Land coming soon. Let's take a look. What have you got? A single screenshot of something and then a clearly edited portrait of something. 
Synergy Land is a Web3 multiplayer ARPG developed by, developed by Synergy Games and incubated by Seedify. Um, it's incubated basically means kind of like early funded, um, but not really. It basically means they'll give them the equipment and the space to do this, and then they will claim back that off their earnings when it goes live. It's If you've watched Silicon Valley, you, you know what this is. Popular games such as, uh, inspired by popular games such as Diablo and Path of Exile, the game aims to combine the best of these worlds with a game-first vision where the regular and hardcore players will enjoy an excellent gameplay experience as well as an ecosystem for players who want to collect and trade NFTs. Giving this community an ownership of their digital assets, the player will take on the role of a hero, exploring dungeons in a great adventure against very powerful creatures and other players. Again, all of the... Um, the recommendations are exactly the same. No, they're not. Uh, graphics card with direct... No, no, they are the same. Apparently, this game is ethereal. Zero gigabytes of storage. Which might lead you to believe that this is actually web-based. In fact, you know what? Oh, I'm going to have to put my details into this site. Right, I'm, I'm going to jump in and have a look. Because I feel we have to do this justice, right? If this is a good game, great. If it's awful, whatever. So I'm signed into the uh, the launcher now. And it took me a while to get an account because every e verification email they sent went spam, which is a fantastic sign. This is, this is just what you want from a good game launcher, right? Okay, so it turns out I was stupid. Uh, the game I was looking at isn't even out yet. Of course it's not. Doesn't exist yet. However, uh, Solarian is another game on here. Solarian is a turn-based strategy that combines this collectible card game and 3D strategy genre. Summons units and cast spells using their pre-built decks. Summoned units can be moved around on the board and attack enemy units and structures. You know what? Sounds actually like my sort of game. Again, Jesus Christ, what are these recommendations for specs? That is um, something else. Well, anyway. Let's play it. Let's see how this works. If it does... Okay, it's web-based. I'm I'm all for that. Uh, play, own, explore. The turn-based strategy card game for the Solarium universe. At a glance, doesn't look too bad. Let's have a look. Choose. Okay, it's not web-based. Let's... You know what? Screw it. In for a penny, in for a pound. Let's do this. Okay, so it's not out. It's in beta, which means... This isn't a one-time password for the website to get into all these games. It's already a lie. I need to make another account now to be able to sign up for the beta for this game. Okay, let's look at another game. Let's let's see what else we can actually play on this launch with my one-time password sign-in. Um, what else do we have here? Oh my. Oh, we can play that one. Okay. Let's let's do it. We can earn real money in Grand Prix. Okay, this seems like a web-based game, which I would expect because it looks like absolute dog. <laughs> Made with Unity. Okay. Connect wallet. Scan QR code with a wallet connect compatible wallet. Okay, I'm... I have a wallet that's throwaway for these sort of things. Let's have a look. So, despite this saying that it works with Crypto.com's scanning, which I have a throwaway Crypto.com account for stuff like this, it, crypto.com doesn't even recognize this. So, uh, let's try desktop, I guess. Or let's not, I guess. The address wasn't understood. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We, we'll go back to another game. We, we'll look at another good game. What absolute bangers do we have on this site that you can actually play that it will let you connect to with the things it says you can connect with? Elementes Universe. Well, that's coming soon. Uh, that's coming soon. Uh, oh, I think this was the one we were looking at where we we're like, let's let's play this. Play now. WebGL client. It, it, even better. Connect wallet. <sighs> Something tells me this isn't going to work. Yep, yeah, doesn't work despite saying that Crypto.com is supported. This wallet connect thing just doesn't seem to work. Let me let me. The crypto bro is gonna be like, no, 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 no. Do your research. So I'm gonna do my research. Okay, so um, looking at a Reddit post, it turns out that that link thing that they've made, um, what was it, Wallet Connect, barely works at all. 
So this is great. Um, to be brutally honest, this whole thing is a mess. This is not the future of gaming. This is not convenient. I wasn't able to play any of the five games. Yes, I tried five, you know, off screen that, that I tried to play. So if this is supposed to be the future of gaming with one time password sign on, why do none of them require the one time password sign on? And most of them require a additional password for a website I've never heard of to play said game. It's complete BS. It makes no sense. And ladies and gents, I I feel like I've got brain worms or something after after looking through this because my head just hurts trying to trying to work out what they were thinking while making this because it's not convenient. It's not the future of gaming and it never will be. But anyway, ladies and gents, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this dive into whatever the hell this mess was. And uh, as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. A massive thank you to the patrons. You guys are absolutely legendary. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.